hear me. It is your duty to keep your conversation and your consciousness upstairs such that you can experience and feel whew, the love that is everywhere. Ooh, the miracle that is everywhere at all times. Okay, so listen, I want to talk about something. And it's been talked about before, but I think that it's a mistake that we make in relationships. It's a mistake that we make. And when I say mistake, I mean it's an unconscious mistake. I don't think it's a conscious thing that we do, but I want to bring consciousness to it. I want to bring awareness to it. And that is, you know, people ask quite a bit, you know, like, what do you think is like the magic or the secret sauce to you guys' relationship? And one of the things I often respond to that question with is, I don't pretend to know Alexi. Now hear me, my wife, I don't pretend to know her. I don't know her. And here's why it's very important that I, that I don't think I know her. Because the moment I name her, the moment I name her, everything that is outside of what I have deemed the thing I've named dies off. All possibilities go away when we name something. So have you ever noticed that or had somebody do this to you where you made a mistake or you did something stupid years ago and they're holding you in your history in such a way that they can't see any of the magic that you are, any of the beauty that you are, any of the good deeds that you do because they're still seeing you and naming you as the thief, the cheat, the liar, the fill in the blank. Now, on a day-to-day -day basis, we do this. We name things, and because we name them, we cut off possibility. Because we name them, like for instance, in our science, we are just figuring out that elephants send sonar thousands of miles away. But for so long, we said, oh, that's just an elephant. That's just a dumb elephant, right? Just an elephant. Is it a fucking elephant, or is it 10,000 other things outside of what we have named it? And I understand we name things because it makes us feel safe. Right? There's safety in knowing what something or someone is. However, we cut off possibility and we trap them in their history. We trap them in the history that we made for them. Not even true history, not even facts. We trap them in the story, in the labeling, so there's no place to go. So, I challenge you to play with the idea of letting go of believing that you know. You know, I say often that the most dangerous drug on the planet, more dangerous than crystal meth, more dangerous than crack cocaine, more dangerous than anything you can name, is the drug of wanting to be right. And right and knowing are basically cousins, right? When you know, you're right. Oh, I know, I know. I know that I don't know, but I still know, and therefore I'm safe. I know that, therefore I'm safe. The knowing screws everything up. My dad, we could name my dad something based on some choices he's made in his life. However, my relationship with my father is 100% null and void if I think I know him. And so letting go of the labeling, right? And I get it. We, everything we do is in language. Everything we do is in language. So there's no way not to label things linguistically. However, it is very, very um, important if you would like to experience the newness of life. One of the things I talk about quite a bit is, you know, people ask me like, bro, you're like almost 40, but you seem to be getting younger. You seem to be getting happier. You seem to be getting more vibrant and f like full. What are you doing? And one of the things I talk about quite often is I'm so curious. Childlike wonder, wonder and curiosity did not kill the cat. It enlivened the cat. It took the cat to another level. It took it to a different frequency. The, 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 all of this is a game of receptivity. How receptive am I? We used to live on the uh, second floor of a building and there was the first floor, the second floor, and then there was the basement where we parked our cars. And when I would take my cell phone downstairs in the basement, the receptivity to the cell phone tower was not as strong as when I went upstairs and, ooh, hear me, it is your duty to keep your conversation and your consciousness upstairs such that you can experience and feel whew, the love that is everywhere, ooh, the miracle that is everywhere at all times. Like, whew, we are 
in different parts of the world currently. However, we're all here and now. We're all here and now. And in the now, we are connected. Our hearts are connected. Everybody take a deep, holy breath in. Hold at the top. Release. <sighs> yes, yes. Do you hear me? Like, we just reset and recalibrated our nervous systems all at the same time, all to the frequency of love. Let's do it one more time. On the, I'm gonna count to three. You're gonna hold a deep breath in, and on the hold, I want you to think of something or someone in your life that you have deemed that thing, right? Maybe it's a boss, maybe it's a coworker, that bitch Tammy, Tammy's you know, always stealing my ideas, whatever that is, right? Maybe it's the homeless people that live down the street from you. Maybe it's a, a gentleman by the name of Donald Trump. Whoever it is, whatever it is, I want you to hold at the top, and when you hold it at the top, I want you to, to see them with new eyes. I want you to vibrate and, and tap into the frequency of love with that person and watch us literally shift the vibration as it pertains to the walking, talking miracle that is that human being. Oh, Rastafari, let's get it, let's get it. One, okay, two, let's do it. Three, deep breath in. Release. Ah. It's so good. It's so good. All right, I think I'm gonna get out of here. I love you all. Blessings and blessings. Please share this message if it hit any chord. If it if it resonated with you, please share it out because you're the only way my message is the message, which I am a messenger, meaning I get out of the out of my own way and allow the message to come through. So in truth, you created this message. So I ask that you share it. Blessings and blessings. Let's get it. Rastafari.